And welcome to another Halo Mega Bloks review by the SS Motion. So today I'll be reviewing the UNSC All Terrain Mongoose with a meal figure. This is 82 pieces, is item number 97339, currently retails at about £10, and is part of the brand new new articulation Fall 2014 line. So we'll start with probably the most anticipated figure. Of this fall 2014 line people have been raving about this thing since it was teased at the toy fair and getting it in my hands is a big deal it looks amazing the sculpting detail is just extraordinary on this figure now with a lot of the noble team figures that have been released this year if you've noticed we've got an Emil a Carter and a Jun we'll see that Emil uh, well Carter and Jun are actually being re-released in different skins they're in the zombie packs and things like that but this seems to just be making an appearance here and just looks amazing so Emil in the game if you didn't know is based off many different armor types he has a EVA variant helmet with um, I think it's a CNM attachment uh, which is this little uh, visor piece here he also has an assault chest plate uh, chest plate and wrists and then he also has security right shoulder operator left shoulder and a tactical utility and FJ PARA knee guards so if you can tell this is actually on the um, shoulder here this is kind of meant to be an operator shoulder now here is the operator we have currently they are pretty different. I mean, this thing is enlarged tenfold, but uh, it, it just looks awesome for that reason. And on the other side, it's meant to be security. You can compare the security armor here. It kind of, you can see some similarities, but uh, this security is based off Halo 3 anyways, and this is obviously a Halo Reach model. So, you know, there were some differences made anyway. But this figure is amazing. Seriously, one of my favorite figures this year. Uh, based on the new articulation, if you did not know, uh, the new articulation has replaced the old with little ball joints that attach here and mean they can pose better. I'm all for it. They are just far superior to the old figure's imposability. The uh, figure itself, yep, all the armor is removable like the other figures. You see, I can take off the security plate here. Um, one thing I've noted that is good about the armor, uh, being able to take off, there's not much um, sort of molding uh, here. I thought, you know, there may be big sticky out bits or big little slots that slot in and it would look all messy, but no, it looks very smooth. If you remove the Emil helmet, this is the main thing everyone wants to know about, um, the sculpting work on the Emil helmet. Now, most, most people have complained that it's been too faint, uh, people have said, I mean, if you look at this um, image just on the box art here, you can see that it's actually meant to be very um, prominent. But honestly, I don't mind. It is a little faded, but you can see it very well, and it is very uh, accurate to the in-game model. So I honestly don't mind with that. I think it looks great. Uh, the Emil armor can actually be removed. It's very, very fiddly and um, quite hard to do, but you can eventually do it. He's got his great little tack belt here. With loads of bullets on and loads of removable armor here the legs actually the armor removes as well the the amount of detail on this is extraordinary you can also see that there is like molding underneath it's not just a plain layer which is always extremely good and um yeah the you you can't i can't sort of emphasize enough just how incredible this figure's detailing is uh one of the most detailed figures i've seen certainly in this line and um, yeah, the chest removes off in two pieces and uh, just looks awesome. The model is actually made up of several different colours. There's not many washes, it's all plain colours. But we've got the main black armour running all the way down. We've got grey underneath, silver on the boots, grey hands, and then this really nice uh, sort of contrasting red armour piece here. And then the detailing on the bullets looks great. There's a couple of paint slips, but nothing you couldn't just touch up with a Sharpie. And uh, yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. I really enjoy this figure. One of my favorite figures in the new line so far. Now we move on to the star of the show, the new mold UNSC Mongoose. Now, if you want to check the video I uploaded the day before this, it's called Halo Megablocks 101, and it's a history of the Mongoose. So check that out, and you can I, I go through all the different Mongooses in detail, all the ones that have been released leading up to this one, and it's a great little education lesson for uh, if you want to be buying this mongoose. So basically, the rough, rough idea is there have been three main mongoose models. 
as shown here. There's been this old bricky blocky one, there's been the smoothed out one, and then there's been the completely redesigned one. So I'll focus on these two. There are a lot more details on this new one. Um, an excellent example is the steering wheel here, is movable compared to that solid piece here. Um, there are nice clips here. The uh, If you look at this piece here, it's very detailed. The uh, mirrors actually move around and can come out and look, they just look extraordinary. Guys, I've never been more impressed with how this has been made. They've condensed it down into this really compact vehicle and looks awesome. There's also these movable little stands for the figures to put their feet on compared to the old single uh, slot there. Um, the wheels are slightly smaller and more detailed in the core instead of just this slot piece. They've got a really nice mold there. The back actually has a little support stand here that the figure can hold onto, which is always a nice little piece of detail. And uh, it just, it looks far superior. It's still got the same, uh, still got a lot of the same things. Um, this Mostly this back piece is identical with this little stand. Um, and the, the main build is identical because it is a mongoose, but it is just better. And the best thing about it is printed detail. None of this is stickers. You know I don't like stickers. They bubble, they come off, they peel. These look amazing because they are plain printed emblems and that UNSC one is so detailed on the small design. It just makes for an exceptional mongoose with even detailing like this grid here and the whole thing just looks smooth, finished and absolutely perfect. There are actually two weapons included in this set which I was surprised at for the value because um, it's only £10 set. The first one is a new mold shotgun, looking very nice there. It would have been nice for Emil to have his in-game shotgun, you know, a, a bigger, massive, sort of kick-ass shotgun, because he does in the games. But this is still really nice, and it is only a £10 set. And we also get the uh, cookery knife, which is here. It's a really nice new mold. I think it's based off the Call of Duty ones, but it's really nice and looks awesome with Emil holding it and it's nice to add that sort of in-game touch because in the game you see him sharpening and carving his uh, helmet so it's really nice to include that kind of in-game callback so you can see Mega's really done their research and they know what they're talking about. So guys for a very cheap £10 you are blown away with value you get a brand new Emil figure a brand new sculpted mongoose from pretty much start to finish get a cookery knife and a shotgun. Now, if you think about it from Mega's perspective, they have made new molds, spent money investing, making design teams to create this, and it is all brand new just for £10. So you can see that the value is screaming out to you. It is amazing value. So this has been another Halo Mega Blocks review by the SS Motion. Please check back in a couple